In this video, we're going to talk about how to insert rows and columns in Excel. So there's two ways you can do this. Let's say if you want to insert a row to the left of column C. You can highlight column C, go to the Home tab, click Insert, and then Insert Sheet Columns. This will add a column to the left. Now let's undo that. Another way in which you can do this is if you select any cell and then you right click, insert, it'll also insert a column to the left. So it doesn't matter if you have the whole column highlighted. Once you click insert, it's just going to add a column to the left. Now we could do the same thing with rows. So let's say if I select a row, row five. And if I go to the Home tab and then click Insert, Insert Sheet Rows, it's going to insert one row above the row I selected. Or if you just select one cell and you right click, go to Insert, you can insert a entire row right above it. Now what about inserting multiple rows and columns? Let's say if we want to insert two columns to the left of column B. What you want to do is highlight the two columns and then click insert. And then the two columns will be added to the left. Now, if we want to insert three columns to the left of, let's say, column C, highlight three columns, right click, insert. And then the three columns will be added. Now, we could do the same thing with rows. Let's say if we want to add two rows above row four. So we need to select row four and five, right click, insert, and we'll get those two rows. Let's say if we want to add five rows above row six. So we'll highlight six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that's five rows, right click, and then press insert. So that's how you can quickly add rows and columns using Excel. Now let's talk about some other things that we can do with Excel. We can also modify the sizes of the rows and column. So if you bring the mouse in between two columns, you can drag it and thus adjust the size. Now, if you were to double click it, it'll automatically adjust it to the appropriate size. Same is true for the rows. You can adjust the row as you see fit, or you can double click it and it will bring it to the appropriate size. Now you can adjust multiple rows and columns all at once. For instance, if we highlight everything and I'm going to adjust row B, all other columns will be adjusted to the same size. The same is true with the rows. Once we select, once we select all rows and columns, if we adjust one row, I'm just let me say that again. If we adjust one row, all other rows will be adjusted accordingly. So that's how you can adjust the rows and columns in Excel. Now let's fix these two columns. There's something else that we can do using Excel with rows and columns. And that is we can move one column to another column. So let's say if we want to move column B to column H. Select column B and then go to home, select cut, and then we want to move it to H. But what you need to do is select the next column to the right column I. Right click, insert cut cells. Notice that it moved it not to I but to H. So if you want to move one column to another column, move it one more unit to the right and then it's going to put it in the appropriate column because you lose a column on the left so you need to account for that.
Now let's say if we want to move two columns, column B and column C. And I want to put it in columns H and I. So I'm going to have to select the next two columns, K and L. So let's go home, cut, and then let's select K and L, insert cut cells. Notice that it's not in K and L, but it's been moved to I and J. So that's how you can move data from one column to another. So you can move multiple columns at the same time.